Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. It's about 3.30 in the morning on day 6. This should be the day that the Inquisitor arrives, along with a train that I think is going to be full of supplies. So it should be an interesting day. So far we don't have a main quest, we just have a side quest which is to stop the Hunchback from storming the Termitary. But that's for later in the evening after nightfall. So for now that can wait. I think the thing I'm going to do next is go to Reuben. Yeah, let's go to Reuben, because even though we don't have a quest to go there, he did tell me yesterday that I should get there either late last night or early this morning to see how his vaccine research has been going. So let's go speak with him. Thankfully on day 6, the infection has disappeared from the warehouse district, so I don't need to worry about clouds of doom smashing me in the face. Although, that guard is going to beat somebody up, so... Oh, they're just beating up a thief. That's fine. Perfectly normal. Good day, sir. Don't want to help your fellow... fellow guard? He might die. In fact, he just died. I'm gonna keep going. Before the murderer gets me. Ah, oh, fuck, play rats. Alright, come after me if you want. So how's it been going, Reuben? We'll have to part our ways soon, friend. Remember me kindly. And so, my life has come to an end. What do you mean? Nothing, apart from what I'm saying. Any crime warrants punishment. And what I did was a crime. Regardless of what good intentions I may have had. Here, take the vaccine. I'm going to see Georgie. Wh what? I think working on the vaccine is a bit more important than this right now, don't you think? That's suicide. I did what had to be done, but I won't spend the rest of my days trying not to look the canes in the eye. Come on, take it. I want you to have my treasures. I won't need them anymore. Don't go, Reuben. If you care for my opinion at all, stay. I'll definitely need your help down the line. Uh, I guess that's a no. Yes. I guess that's a no. What? We'll have to part our ways soon, friend. Remember me kindly. Well, that was sudden. Okay. He has given me the vaccine. Has he given me the vaccine? I mean, I already had the blue vaccine. I don't understand. Did you give me the vaccine or not? Time is of the essence. Is it on the table? Okay. Goodbye forever, Reuben, I guess? Strange. Alright, so I still don't know what my main quest for the day is going to be. I guess I just need to wait for the train to arrive, probably. So, in the meantime, I think I need to manage my stats. My hunger is very high, and my health is low, so let's go looking for people to trade for bandages, and also look for food stores. You know, I keep meaning to print out a version of the map and mark which stores are which. I still haven't done that. And I believe somebody sent me a link in the comments on one of the videos to a map showing you which stores are which. I don't really want to use it though. I want to, you know, if I do want to do something like that, I want to make my own map. We'll see if I ever get around to it. It might be like the final day when I finally do it. And by that point it won't matter. Well, if I'm going to be wandering around looking for stores and looking for people to trade with, I might as well wander in a particular direction to talk with someone. So who might I want to talk with? Let's go to Yulia. 
Let's just go north to Yulia, because it's been forever since I've talked with her. I don't think I've spoken with her since the whole... The whole uh, medicine research thing that young Vlad had me doing. I think that was a couple days ago. Yeah. Oh, and while I'm here, let's see if Capella has anything new to say. I might be able to sniff out the main quest before I actually get a letter or anything like that. Mark Immortal has announced that he knows of some rat prophet. What is it? Do you remember the young woman lynched on the day of your arrival in the bone steak lot? Yeah, that's how I got my pistol actually. Remember the... It was another one of those almost naked women wearing like seaweed on their bodies. She was like strapped to that bone thing and there was a crowd around her. And then she just instantly disappeared for some reason and there were a couple of bodies left and I picked up the pistol from the bodies. Quite vividly. She rarely appeared in public and people used to believe her house was haunted. When the captors dragged her out into the light and asked anyone to confirm whether they knew this person and whether she was a human being at all, her neighbors preferred to remain silent. Why? Are you asking me? I do not think it was about hatred. Those who knew for certain that she had lived next to them for many years were filled with hope at that moment. What if she really was just a step ghost, a Mara, a bloodsucker? Then everything would go back to normal in their simple heads. The order of things would be restored. Why are you telling me all this? <laughs> what is it with the way conversations end in this game? You ask a question point blank and then the conversation just ends. Guests are always welcome here. Father has been avoiding me lately. Strange. The Firestarters are planning to attack the Termitary. Did you know that? I think if I pick this option, it's probably going to end the conversation, so let's dig further. Why? They want to burn out the infection. They believe that is where it's crawling from. You can hear most horrible rumors about the termitary these days. And my father doesn't even want to move a finger. He could probably take advantage of the arson if someone was to set the termitary afire. Do not say so. Oh, I really, really want to believe that. That father has nothing to do with this terrible plan. How did you find out about it? My brother somehow did. He seems to care, truly. He's dying to stop them personally, but he doesn't yet know how. I only hope there will be no dying. I've talked to him already. <laughs> and that's the end of the conversation again. Urgh. I feel like the NPCs are just about to tell me something important and then the conversation just ends. I want to know what's in your head, Capella. Give me more. They say a plague bear got into the cathedral. Everyone who was there died. What? Is that true? A plague bear got into the cathedral. Everyone who was there died. Maybe I should go to the cathedral. My heart is uneasy. You can rely on me. I'll try to stop the villains. At least some villains anyway. <laughs> what a superhero I am. Never fear. You probably don't need to fear, because I am here, kind of, sort of. I'll help you, probably. This whole thing with the Termitary and Vlad is very strange. I'm just going to check in with him again, just to make sure there's no new dialogue options. I don't want to miss anything here. Nope, nothing new. Okay, uh, so I was gonna go up to Yulia, but now I kind of want to go to the cathedral, but that's over there. Hmm. I also want to speak with Ava, but she's in an infected zone. Well, we got some time. Let's go north to Yulia, and then over to the over to the cathedral. 
or No, let's go to the cathedral right now. My curiosity has the best of me. Never fear. Crappy superhero is here. Oh god, you know what, never mind, you know, I'm not your superhero. You can have the body, goodbye. the arsonists again. Oh, looks like they died. Good job, guard. Jesus! The thief just killed two people. Hmm. It looks like if someone is killed by a guard, you can't actually loot their bodies. I guess maybe a way to stop you from abusing... Like, abusing that? Because I suppose you could just walk around and, like, try to get the people, get the guards to beat up people and then just collect the bodies it's probably to stop that from happening that's a potential bandage guy Let me see if this conversation's new. Mm. I think this is a new... I think this is a new dialogue. Uh, speak up, who's spreading the infection? Look me in the eye. I swear on my soul's salvation, it wasn't me. Not my fault. You know it's a man-eater. A shab neck. A creature of feminine gender. And do you see any... <clears throat> lady parts on my person? And so I plead not guilty. I don't like either of these options. I can insult him or basically accuse him of being the plague bringer, which is incredibly dumb. No one suspects you, idiot. Food. Need food. Fresh meat. Jesus, look at how expensive that is. Also, I am not comfortable eating meat. I want bread or canned vegetables. Oh, that's right. I looted some rations from one of the, uh... One of those fire bomber arsonist guys, right? I guess I'll eat those. I don't think they're trade goods. Over to the cathedral. I wonder if I can go talk to the hunchback. Could I? Maybe I could talk the hunchback out of storming the termitary. You think? I'm gonna try. Or hell, what if I killed the hunchback before... Like, before nightfall? Can I just like preemptively do it? Whoa, this is new music. It's extra creepy. He's just not even here. Well, I'm pretty sure he... I'm pretty sure, uh... He's not going to become poor because I took three coins. So if I can loot his place while he's not here, then sure. Ooh. I mean, the guy's freaking rich. 
He's not gonna miss this stuff. Also, he's batshit insane. It's a very empty house. Did I check in here already? I think I just went in there? I'm not sure. That or there's two kitchens. What's with that music? It sounds like somebody's chasing me. It's like it just got amped up. Is somebody after me? Feels like somebody's after me. Oh, there is somebody after me. Okay. 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 Get him, guard. Oh, God. Alright, this... Whoa. Don't get stuck. This is the cathedral. Wait, this is not the cathedral. Where am I? No. This is the crucible. Alright. What the heck? Let's speak with the canes before going to the cathedral. Those whom you save will speak for themselves. Today, the guilty can be charged. Or so they say. Today, someone will be murdered in your name. Today, they will claim your discovery as their guideline. Positive it would make any strike true. Who are they? The governors. Sabarov and Olgimsky. The watchdog has revealed the instinct of a bloodhound. The manufacturer has leashed and chained a virtuoso butcher. The one that'll easily cut anyone's heart out on the run. Hmm. The manufacturer is obviously Olgimsky. And as far as the leashed and chained virtuoso butcher, that must be the Inquisitor that he was talking about, right? Cut the heart out? From whom? What carrier are they talking about? Who are they planning to kill? Most importantly, why? Would that stop the plague? But it had to have begun with someone. We must find the cause to fight the consequences. Now everyone who is infected, and everyone who is infected by an infected person, and everyone who is infected by the trace of an infected person, all of them are disease carriers. This horde is multiplying by the second. Can it be stopped? It can. The blood that's supposed to become the evidence for the future trial has enabled the creation of a protective vaccine. The caprice of our temper is even more whimsical than that of fortune. Tomorrow, everything will change. Uh, is something bothering you? I feel a powerful surge of life force. How strange. I expected to be overcome with it on the first day, when Simon died. But it's only happening now. Time to begin. What? Begin what? What are you talking about? Nothing of importance. I love seeing how unexpectedly, peculiarly, and precisely every omen, prediction, and foretelling comes true. It's time for me to begin fulfilling my duty. Seems like my time has come, Bachelor Dankovsky. What are you going to do? Oh, I don't know yet. It'll become apparent soon. For now, I want to stay alone. I'll be sleeping. I want to dream about Mother and Simon. I want to ask them questions. Sleep. Now let's go speak with Georgie and then Victor. No 
in front of the cathedral. Nothing from the outside of it looks like anything's gone wrong. Few people know death. We only endure it, usually from determination, and even from stupidity and custom. Yes, what is it? What happens now? Ogimski will try his best to burn the girl at the stake. Talk to her. You're the least likely to fall under her spell. Perhaps she'll tell you something of interest. Um, what? What girl? The exorcist girl. Clara the psychic. Sabarov's pet. The changeling. I had no idea the Sabarovs had an exorcist at their disposal. Seems to me that one psychic should have been enough for them. She was staying with the Sabarov family first, but then they presented her with her own house. She is too afraid to stay there alone, though. Instead, the girl keeps hiding in the foulest slums this town has to offer. Apparently, the disease does nothing to her. Huh, she's immune to the infection? Interesting, and she is a playable character. Not playable at the beginning of the game, you have to... I think you have to complete the storyline with either the Bachelor or... or the Haruspex to be able to actually play as the Changeling. But she is playable. And if she is actually immune to the disease, then that would change the way the game plays massively, not having to worry about that. She must have some other weaknesses, though, right? Otherwise, it just seems like it'd be really easy to survive as her. Is she being tracked down already? What for? Now that Simon is no more, these witch hunters lose all purpose. I've learned everything I wanted to know. My brother was alive until the very end. When he was turned into the smallest of shreds. He is alive, even now. How do you know that? I talked to him today. He needs a new body. And we shall provide him with it. What? Okay... How are you planning to do this, and whose body? Exorcism? No, nothing but optics. There is a place that would allow us to retain the memory of him, to focus the sense of his presence. A kind of a chapel, where one would be able to enjoy his company, to focus on him. I see. I don't really see, to be honest. A kind of a chapel. Have I seen anything that's kind of a chapel? There's a cathedral. I have no freaking clue. Katerina shouldn't have cast Changeling out. Clara is her true successor. Her own daughter couldn't have been closer. Tell me what you want, and I will tell you who you are. I wonder if I'm gonna have to. I wonder if I'm gonna have to speak with the changeling today. I'm getting little hints about stories happening today, but I still have not actually gotten the main quest or any additional side quests. Okay, so they're trying to hunt down Clara. That we know. Someone's desecrated the stone yard tombs. The scoundrels. So yesterday, you managed to capture this disease, or so I've heard anyway. The town is abuzz with horrifying rumors of people being dissected alive. Obviously, I don't believe those. The more dangerous kind of rumors are, it turns out, those about you acquiring a sample of infected blood. Quite so. The bacterium has been caught and encased in glass. I didn't do it on my own, though. I had help. More importantly, they say that you are now able to track down the shape-shifting disease carrier, comparing their blood to that sample you obtained yesterday. If they are one of the townsfolk, it can't be that hard to recognize them. Also true. 
This is a witch hunt in the making. As if dim-witted blackguards murdering women in the streets wasn't enough. It seems that our governor is now inclined to extend his greedy reach towards the town's notable people. Several young women stand accused after the cathedral business. Oh, so what I've heard is true. Something happened at the cathedral. What happened at the cathedral? A disease carrier got into the cathedral last night. Everyone inside perished. Yes, yes, making it past your impregnable quarantine. Human or spirit, it's very clear now that this is an individual who can walk and is probably quite malicious. Many people are reveling in this particular certainty. How so? An inquisitor arrives tomorrow. It seems to me that someone wants to dispose of several young women before his coming. Presently, the Sword of Justice hangs suspended above Yulia and Lara. Oh, Jesus. I was just about to go try to speak to Yulia. They have been arrested on Sabarov's authority. But Vlad Olginsky hasn't been idle either. If the girls survive until tomorrow, the Inquisitor will establish the truth. But someone is eager to get ahead of him. Hmm. Lara was saying that she was going to die, right? Didn't she say that? She thought she was going to die soon, or somebody said she was going to die soon. And it seems like there's a very real chance of that. But, I'm supposed to protect these people, right? Aren't they on my list of adherents? I'm pretty sure Yulia is. I'm not sure about Lara. Uh, but anyway, what does Olgimsky have to do with this? The Olgimskys claim they can prove the girl's innocence. Perhaps they already know who the real culprit is. Somehow I have no doubt about that. I've heard the criminal is being kept inside the termitary. Wait, what? Inside the termitary? I thought no one was supposed to go in or out of the termitary and it was absolutely and completely sealed. So, the criminal, the criminal, the criminal. So the actual culprit is inside the termitary. Wait, maybe I'm just misunderstanding uh, misunderstanding this. He's not talking about one of the two women, right? Lara or Yulia? He's talking about the actual culprit? Hmm. I see. I'll talk to old, I'll talk to old Gimsky. Now I've got a quest for today. Witch hunt. Okay. Now we know what we need to do. There's only one thing left to do. I must locate the cause of the outbreak. The unusual nature of contamination throughout the town. The rumors of the man-eater. The tragedy at the cathedral. There is no shortage of evidence to support the carrier hypothesis. No wonder Olgimsky has something to say on the matter. We have caught the bacteria. Now we have what the blood of an infected man looks like. Or now we know what the blood of an infected man looks like. We have learned what the sand plague does to its victims as it thrives within their bodies. The rulers have chosen to take advantage of these findings in order to reignite the witch hunt. Only this time, it is with the carrier instead of the man-eater. I need to talk with Sabarov about it. Wait, I thought I was supposed to speak with Olgimsky. But I said to go to Sabarov. Alright, let's go to Sabarov. First, since I'm right here, let me see if I can get inside of the cathedral. Oh my. I, for one, do not believe that Cathedral Girl was Amara. I think her intentions were good. They ran out of food and water by that time. She must have been trying to feed the weakest. Perhaps there was something on her clothes. Or perhaps it wasn't her at all. The isolation ward had enough water when I checked on it last. The food was supposed to be delivered by morning. Um, I guess that means the food was not delivered. What cathedral girl? Some girl or lady infiltrated the cathedral at night. 
I've heard people say that she descended from above. But I think she must have slipped through the entrance. Having tricked the guards, I mean. The poor thing must have been so scared. And see how that turned out. And how did it? Haven't you been told, Doctor? Hurry up, then. Perhaps there's still a chance that you might save someone. They've all died during the night, and those who haven't are passing on now. Perhaps you can still do something. I have been told. I'm just figuring out the details. There's been a horrible tragedy, Bachelor. The disease has found its way into the cathedral. Yes, <laughs> that's pretty obvious. How did it happen? At first we didn't quite realize what happened. When the screaming began, we were in no hurry to open the door. When it became apparent that something horrible was happening inside, when the banging on the doors began, we knew then that the isolation ward has succ had succumbed to the same fate as the termitary. Damn it. The overseer saw it fit to keep the doors locked for now. The agony lasted for about an hour. The place was chock full of people. Why was their death so fast? It wasn't. They did not die. They were simply unable to move anymore. Those who were still capable of walking had been transported to the theater. Uh, I mean, hospital. The feverish ones remained here. The overseers took care of them, taking the dead to Earth. They think it's their fault, that the casualty rate is almost absolute. It's terrible. Man, oh man. Thank God my mom and I never went into that nailed coffin. Auntie almost talked us into it. Can you believe that? What coffin? Last night, Ava fed salt water to the people in the cathedral. Everyone who drank it died. Those who didn't got infected and died too. And those who tried to escape the place and run away weren't allowed to because it's forbidden. Ava. Salt water. People who drank it died. Those who didn't got infected and died too. Wait. Was that some sort of poison? Putting people out of their misery or something? Ava. Or Yulia. All in all, it's either Anna or Lara. Some lady that was allowed in the cathedral. Wait. So it's either Ava? Yulia? I'm going to write this down. Or Lara. So she's not sure who exactly. How do you know that? Wouldn't you like to know? Ask around if you're so smart. I am asking around. I'm talking to you. Well, no point in talking to you. Have you already been informed about the situation? What happened? Okay, so most of this is probably just going to go over the same stuff. So I'm going to kind of skim. They're dying. Yep. I, I don't care about chastising these people for disobeying my orders or whatever. That's beyond the point at this point. Let's just try to gather information. Were you an overseer last night? No. Ask the overseers. They can describe the situation in more detail. Those of them who survived, I mean. Most of them have died trying to put this fire out. Although they say that... Promise to not get angry? I'm too exhausted to. They say Amara sneaked into the cathedral last night. They saw a long-armed woman, wrapped in woolen rags, shamble about the cathedral, stroking the walls with her hands. So, some beggar was looking for shelter at the cathedral. What does it have to do with Mara? Dirty lies, all of it. Let me tell you, that salty liquid was neither water nor tears. The foul man-eater sprinkled people's lips with blood. That's what she did. Notkin told me that, in the age of the blind Arrakis' skin, there used to be a rite that worked just like that. What do you mean? Blood. I'm talking about blood. 
We obviously have to find her now. How is that hard to grasp? More man-eater hunting? Well, it's a very lackluster hunt. Consider the culprit already found. The cathedral guards were bribed by one of the ladies of particular notoriety. So it was she that did the whole thing. That's clear as day. Crept into the cathedral naked, with just a cloak on, and sprayed the beds with rat blood. That was her plan, that the half-awake people wouldn't be able to realize what's going on in their sleepy confusion. Sprayed the beds with rat blood? The plague rats? That's how this boy thinks, that people were infected? Plague rat blood was spread on the beds? Someone, a woman with notoriety, so one of the main, one of the main characters. Yulia, Laura. Hmm. What happened? It happened at night. They woke up in the morning to find out that there were only two types of people in the cathedral. The dead and the soon-to-be. Tried to force the doors. Both the lucky and the not so much. But no can do. No unauthorized exit. And here you go. Five hundred stiffs. Thankfully, at least none of our guys were inside when that happened. Those dumb heads. It's horrible. I don't know if I should believe all these stories, though. Hmm. She was offering something to drink. That I'm certain of. There was no water, so they accepted hers. Uh, well, whatever she was cupping in her hands. She must have accidentally grabbed putrid water. I bet there was no foul intent. Who are you talking about? The girl. She took pity on the cathedral sods, sneaked in to get to them, and gave them something to drink. I mean, they were all crammed together in darkness. It must have been torture. Okay, I need to know who the hell it was. Give me more details. What girl? In our business who or what that girl was. You're the guy in charge, so tis up to you. I ain't no girl judge, and you figure that one out yourself. But she was nice. A kind spirit. Let's be commanding with this misspelled sentence. Cut this rubbish, kind sit. Yeah, that'll show him. Today is the day when we finally kill her. Whoever she is, Mara, Lara, or my own sister, it's time to put an end to her feast. What if it really turns out to be her sister? Sometimes ghosts spirit children away from their cradles. They say it happened to a family of my neighbors. A herdsman's daughter have been hiding hooves under her dress for three years straight. A shabnak had killed her and put her white skin on. He wanted to get to the pots with fresh milk. If it's my sister, then she must be a turnskin or a changeling. Wow. This guy just does not care. He just wants to blame somebody. Even his own family. I hope this was a bad joke. I don't think it was. Okay, it's everybody down below. Let's see if there's anybody up here. Okay, so so far confirmed is that a woman of notoriety somehow got inside of the cathedral. And she was offering people something to drink. It seems like that's the only confirmed information about her. I mean, some people say it was rat blood, or it was something nasty, or it was salt water and it killed people who drank it, and those who didn't drink it got infected. But I'm not entirely convinced of that. I think the only thing I can say with certainty is that... is that a woman did come in here, a woman of notoriety, bribed her way in, was maybe trying to do something nice for these people, and offer them something to drink. And it's most likely that she was the cause of the plague getting inside. Whoa. Oh, pfft. It's an arsonist. That's alright, the guard's beating up the arsonist. All is contained. Okay. Sabrov. Sabrov, Sabrov, Sabrov. Let's go to Sabarov. 
Actually, while I'm here, let's talk to Ava. Whoa. It's one of those weird things. Somebody's chasing me? Sounds like somebody's chasing me. I think that thing's gonna shoot after- yep, gonna shoot at me. Ooh. Oh, it's following me. Okay, it's gone. Whew. Stuff is getting crazy out there. Feels like the plague's getting more aggressive. People are screaming and throwing firebombs. Can you feel how rapid my heartbeat is? The suspect is a noble young lady. What if someone points the persecutors in my direction? What happened? Tonight, an unknown young woman got into the cathedral. She walked among the sleeping and kissed their lips. Her face was hidden under a hood, and her body was wrapped in a loose-fitting cloak. Still, when she bent down to the sleeping, someone recognized familiar features. Who was it? That matter remains mysterious. Maria believes she was recognized, but the people there refused to call her by name to protect her from imminent punishment. There are a few women in our town that would be sacrificed life and soul for. Those who worship them so much could offer her shelter, out of love. Hmm. I'll talk to Maria. The Inquisitor will hold you responsible. You'll have to show her the source of the disease. I just wrote down, talk to Maria, because... It didn't actually update my quest when I talked about that with Ava, so... If I don't remember to go to Maria, the quest is certainly not going to help me. You know, I'm almost happy now, my dear Daniel. I found a way to help you. But hush, for now it's a secret. Hmm? You have a peculiar look in your eye, Ava, as though you were not as though you were not quite yourself. Have some sleep. You must be exhausted. I wonder what help she's talking about. Can you feel how rapid my heartbeat is? I just noticed her hands look very strange. They look so large. Hmm. I've seen the angel of death by the window. Okay, now time to talk to Sabarov. Or maybe Maria. Let's go talk to Maria. Yeah, because she's just right here. Sabarovs have disavowed Clara. She's no longer their foster daughter. Hmm. Nothing to speak with her about. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. At first, it seemed like there wasn't that much to do, but... After speaking with Reuben, things just kind of spiraled out from there. It really does pay off to speak with the... the main players in this play. The main actors in this play. The adherents, the bound, whatever you want to call them. It really does pay off to speak with them before a letter arrives or somebody tells you to speak with them. Because you can really get an early start on the main quest. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. 
And when I return, I'm gonna hunt for some food along the way to speaking with Sabarov about what is going on with his witch hunt for the woman who's responsible for the cathedral.